Right, so three hours, 37 minutes, fastest route, 207 mile. This better be worth it. Yet the tour bus is on the road again this time we're in Somerset and we're visiting a course that is ranked very highly in the top 100 golf courses and it's also a golf course that's been on my wish list for quite some time right can we get off to a good start on the first it's not bad pace we'll take that Burnham and Barrow Golf Club is today's host to the man versus golf hole challenge and from what I've seen yesterday afternoon we could be in for a classic. Right, okay, before we get teed off, a quick reminder of the rules. We'll play three holes. It is me versus the stroke index on the card. First two holes are worth one point. The final hole is worth three. And that means whatever happens, we're going down to the wire. Right, as you can see from the drone footage, real interesting golf hole, right in amongst the dunes. We've got a find somewhere in the center of what looks to be a narrow fairway. It's 390 almost, stroke index three. We need a good hand. Well, that's a decent ball and a great start to the morning. It's just hopefully gonna have a little bit of a kick off from the left and bring me back into the center of the fairway. We've done the first bit right, but there's a bit of breeze into. We might have a bit more to, uh, well, get the ball to the hole. Might prove a little bit more difficult than that drive did. 166. Um, I can only see the tip. The green is in a little bit, uh, maybe not a little bit of a base. I can see the back side of the green anyway. So 166 in two. Right, now I've chose six iron. This should, if anything, be long, but we have got a bit of breeze in, so we shall see. Right. Ah, it stayed down the left hand side. I thought with that lie beneath my feet that might just drift off towards the right hand side, and quite honestly, I'm not sure where that's landed. We're gonna to have to uh, well, soon find out, I suppose. Now, I don't know how we've managed to avoid all three of these bunkers, but we have, but it still leaves a horrendously difficult chip because the camber off that bunker lip is just severe down to the uh, right-hand side. So to get this anywhere near the flag, it's gonna need, uh, well, a pretty damn good shot. The drone shot we filmed, and you can see the pan of this hole now, is there's almost a false front in the front of this green. That was filmed yesterday in what was glorious sunshine, but the green complexes here are unreal. And uh, this kind of hole is made extra difficult because quite frankly, there's no real miss. You're in trouble unless you're center of that green, right, left, you're in some trouble. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Uh, undecided as to whether or not this was chipper or I'm actually using a lofted wedge, but we're still going to try and sort of flight this down a little bit. We're going towards the, uh, the left, uh, just slightly right of the bunker and see if it kicks in. It's got to kick on, kick on. Ah, do you know what? I'd say that was a decent effort. It just needed just to fire on just a little bit more. Don't forget, this is low in the stroke index, so I've got a shot at least. You can see just how severe these runoffs are. This is the right hand side of that green I was referring to. And uh, what a steep bunker that is on the left hand side. Yeah, we needed a club with uh, just a little less loft. I think it was a bad choice. But anyway, we have still got a chance to make a par or two for the half. Still got plenty of movement in this. And a bit pacey, I have a feeling this is down the hill and off the left. Oh, well, the read was right. It was probably just looking now, I mean, slightly uphill at first and uh, 
there was a big swing but that's a five net four which means we half the first here at Burnham and Barrow but what a great golf hole that is now only three holes are going to feature in the challenge but I'm going to be playing every hole here at Burnham Barrow and I'll show you plenty more along the way and hopefully that green over there is for the channel course which I also hope to feature in uh, well in tomorrow's video right it's the fourth if you're interested par five not part of the challenge we're in good nick so far Uh, leaking a tad sit down ball no, that's okay Right, we've got a bit mad for our second challenge hole it's a fifth it's a par three and we've come to this elevated tee position which means unfortunately we're playing off well pretty much the tips we've got 189 into what is a fairly tiny green the bunkers are unreal in terms of surrounding this thing and uh, we should really be playing from down there which is about 160 but i just love this tee position maybe a, bit of a glutton for punishment as well it also means we're really in between clubs and uh, I'm going to have to hit a sort of a bit of a soft five would I think and I was probably going to play 200 plus into that breeze you'll also notice I've got a pretty wet backside because we had a downpour of rain and uh, I sat on the buggy seat at the wrong time right it's going to need a good hand right come on this is going to need a decent shot Oh, and that is a decent shot. Come on, be right in the club. Carry. Carry. Ah, no, stay. Oh, my word. <laughs> that is cruel. I literally landed right on the fringe of the, um, of the green. It, the ball held. And as you've seen from that little pan of drone footage we had, there's a real severe bunker at the front of the green and it's just trundled its way down it was right of that bunker but whether or not it finishes up in it i'm not so sure well i'm a little bit gutted the ball landed somewhere up here and it came in sideways you can just see the, the line in the sand but hey ho great golf hole but what a bunker that is we've got to get it up high and we've got to travel a bit as well because Honestly, when you're down here, all I can see is the tip of the flag. Right, come on, I need a good one. No shot, by the way, so this has got to get up and down. Well, for a minute, I thought that could be coming back to me. It's had a lot of grab on it. Well, the only positive is we're not in the bunker, we're on the green and we've got a putter there. Some tremendous views over across the channel there. Um, well, we're uphill, we're right to left. We've got no shot, so this has got to go in. Just give it a chance. Come on. Oh, do you know what? I haven't hit it. It was a good line. I said give it a chance and it's exactly what I didn't do. We had nothing to lose there. The four was irrelevant because like I said in this match play situation, I've just gone one down. Well, like I said at the beginning, it's all down to the wire. I don't know what I'm doing here today, but I'm choosing to play the longer course. Uh, so I've got to play off the blacks because of the tee position I'm about to show you on six. Now hopefully from up there, you can see why I've decided to play from the further back tee, the golds, the blacks are further back again in actual fact. What a vantage point to play a golf hole from. Unreal, it's stroke index 5, it's 400, must be playing 440 in 2, so yeah. I'm going to need a, uh, a few good ones. 
Okay, that breeze is right into us. This is a long par four. Right. So the bunker on the left hand side of the fairway is the idea. Oh, it's just drifting out as well. Drifting out onto the other fairway almost. Too sure how far right that is. I don't know whether that he even gets the three ball coming up the fairway, but not a great tee shot. That's going to be a long way in from there. All right, well and truly on the wrong fairway. Not a great swing, and as you know, in these kind of conditions, that wind just exaggerates any kind of spin you've got. We ain't going to reach in two, that's for sure. It's about whether I can get up there and make up and down to win. We need a good shot, and come on. Keep it smooth. Yeah, that's the shot. That's so much better. You can hear by the strike. Well, I know it's going to be short, but we're definitely in in the game. We've got a chance. Short game is needed to be sharp if we're going to get up and down and grab that win. Right, so we've got ourselves back in the game. Now, this is what I love about Man vs Golf Challenge. It just concentrates the mind because, well, there's nothing on this apart from the fact that I don't like losing. I need to get up and down. And of course, I'm going to be relying on my ping chipper and Mez putter to do so. Give yourself that chance. Oh, it's... Oh! I genuinely thought that was going to kick off left to right. Just carry it just a little bit too far, which means we've got a bit of a putt to me. Ah, again. Looks like left to right. I can't tell you how good the greens are in terms of the, there's movement everywhere. Some of it subtle, some of it very obvious. And I'd love to play these in the height of summer when obviously they'll be running extremely quick. Anyway, man versus golf hole challenge. I'm currently one down. This is worth three points. If I hole it, then I win the challenge. If I don't, this hole would be halved and therefore I will lose. For a while, I thought I had a bit of a chance. It just started to drift. I said it was left to right. And unfortunately, Burnham and Barrow has got the better of me. What a three holes that was. I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna film a similar thing on the back nine. And hopefully, I get revenge. Right, so that is the first of what is two man versus golf hole challenges here at Burnham Barrow on the championship course. And like I said earlier on this video, I'll also be filming on the nine hole channel course. I've got to say, I filmed it yesterday, as you can tell by that drone that's in the sunshine, tremendous layout. I can't wait to get to the back nine and get this challenge going again. And I'm staying in the dormy house, which is on site. I'll we'll have a few drinks tonight and then we'll get up and we'll take on the challenge on the channel course. I'll see you then.